Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today we're going to be talking about a trouble code or DTC of P1423 and how this is an easy fix. If your car has this, let me show you what this actually is. And uh, if you come to my car over here, this is a 2016 Toyota Prius. Just wanted to show you, this is something I saw over and over. My car is on, my check engine light is on. And what I did, just to show you guys for video purposes, I left the gas cap uh, loose when I filled it up last time. It took about a day and a half for the computer to detect it. And I threw a check engine light off. We put the, uh, the cap back on tight. And the check engine light still hasn't gone off by itself. It's been uh, a couple of days. It may reset by itself if it corrects the problem, but it doesn't seem like it's working. So if you have a 1423 uh, uh, trouble code, what you want to do is use a diagnostic scanner, like this little scanner that I have here. I have a link to it below if you guys don't have one, but they're under 20 bucks. But you want to use a scanner like this to go ahead and detect uh, this code to make sure it's the same exact issue. As you can see the code is hard set and it's also pending. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to erase this. So if we go down and I'm going to scroll down to erase and erase, hit yes, erase is done. I'm going to go ahead and plug the, the scanner, the port on this Prius is right here. On most Toyota products, it's going to be in the driver's side footwell. And my ignition is not on. Uh, my ignition's on, but my car is not uh, on yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put my foot on the brake and hit the power button. Now you see it says ready. The check engine light is gone. So hopefully that helps you guys out. At least uh, you're not running around. I know a lot of people go to the dealer uh, once their car runs low on gas or they run out of gas or the gas cap is off because of simple little codes like that. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have a friend or family that has a check engine light on and they don't understand why, and it's a newer vehicle, you want to go ahead and share the video with them. And if you still get another, this problem coming back with your check engine light on any, uh, is where it says uh, there's an EVAP leak, uh, what you want to do is you want to inspect your uh, your fuel cap. And your when you come over here, you want to actually see if the rubber's cracked anywhere. If maybe the rubber's missing. It's stuck to the actual uh, the fuel filler neck. Inspect that. And whenever you guys are getting a replacement fuel cap, try to get the original one instead of the cheapy aftermarket ones. Uh, that way you're not sitting there wasting your troubleshooting efforts. And when you put these on, just one click. And hopefully that helps you guys out. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.